Hello again. In this tutorial, we're going to stitch together the uh, invisible zipper. I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, before you do it, you should uh, stitch the bias tape on the armholes. I do it with the, uh, the side seams open because I have a special foot for my uh, machine that uh, stitches the bias tape. Okay, so or you, uh, if you don't, you could uh, close the side seams and then uh, stitch the bias tape. It, it will look nicer here, okay? So, to stitch this bias tape, uh, follow the uh, video tutorial I made for the keyhole binding, okay? The bias tape, so it's, it's the same principle. Okay, to stitch the uh, invisible zipper, we need to stitch it in on the side seam, okay? Usually I do it on the left, here is right, but as I wear it, this will be my left, so, I stitch it here. Uh, so uh, the, the right side seam we're going to close completely, okay? And the left one, you can do it in two ways. You can leave these two open and stitch the uh, invisible zipper with the side seam open. So when you close the zipper, you close the seam to two. Or you can close a little bit here. I usually close three centimeters which is a little bit more than one inch and then you start stitch uh, and then you stitch inside the um, invisible zipper uh, i don't know how uh, as you prefer i prefer closing here okay so we are going to do uh, with the this uh, side seam so we are going to close here three centimeters and then we are going to close from the notch down on the left uh, uh, side seam okay here is the left side seam so i will start here i will close this part and i will leave this open and start closing it here from the bottom okay and i will leave this part open it's around 40 45 centimeters the opening okay for the zipper uh, if you leave here open it's a little bit more so um let's close the side seam okay here we are Closed, open and closed. Okay, so now we need an, an invisible zipper. Okay, um, this one is 60 centimeters long, which is around, I think, 13, 23 inches. Sorry if I'm wrong. It's 60 centimeters, but uh, you need, so uh, the, the length you need is the length of the opening plus two, three centimeters, which is plus one inch. And you will see now later why. Uh, so, the first thing I'm going to do is, no, if I had um, a fabric that is, uh, that stretches here in uh, four directions, like here, I would apply a strip of fusible interfacing here to stabilize it, okay? Because it's very, it's very hard to stitch the zipper when this part is stretched, uh, stretches, okay? So, if you have a fabric that stretches, apply uh, a one strip of on each side of uh, invisible zipper, I would say like maximum two centimeters wide, and then you stitch the zipper, okay. In this case, I don't, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I will uh, measure exactly this measure from, from where, where this stitching finishes and where this stitching here starts. I will measure th uh, this, and that measure I will uh, mark on my zipper stand starting from the start okay okay so mine is exactly 42 centimeters so here is my mark now i'm going to open it uh, how do i um, i'm not a very log logical person so uh when i need to understand how to uh, stitch this i just watch how it's going to be when it's stitched so it's going to be like this so i know that this part goes here okay so now that I know which part goes, I'm going to open um, the zipper and I'm going to uh, pin it on this side. Okay, of course, uh, we are going to pin the right side of the zipper with the right side of the dress. So here it is opened and open it and uh, pinned on the bottom and the start. You see here, which is the start of the zipper you're going to align this here, start with the opening. So this starts when the opening starts, okay? And here you're going to match 
the mark you marking you made with the with the stitching so I'm going to start to stitch like this I'm going to start here and finish finish here I think it's a little bit easier if this is open so if you want to make your life easier you can do it I don't do it because it scratches me here under under uh, under my arm okay so this is why I close a little bit so this is how I start so um, you are going to insert this part here of the zipper in one of these holes here you just need to see which one for me it's this no you see it's this one because the needle should go here not here so this one so you when you start you just place it nicer just open it in the start place it nice inside this opening and you start with uh, back stitch just start exactly uh, where the stitching finishes now stitch just near this this part of the zipper from this uh, from the beginning to the, to the end so this is how you know you did not start well okay you see I started here I what you need to do is start exactly here so I need to undo this part and do it again just so it is perfectly aligned okay if you leave this like this it's going to be mess in the end so if you did not do it perfectly because the invisible zipper has to be stitched perfectly so to look good so I will undo this part and then I will go to the other part okay so I stitch from the beginning the same thing is on the other side here you see it's perfect this is how it should be so I will undo that part and, and then I will go to the other side now it's much better now let's go to the other side the next step is to close the zipper so you just start from here and close it and now you see here the marking now I'm, what I'm going to do is exactly like this how it is I'm going to take this where the end is here I'm going to put a pin here and I'm going to just do um, uh, stitching here to block this part because I'm interested that here uh, it, uh, the zipper is aligned so when it finishes on one side finishes also on the other it's just it's easy to do wrong just like a little bit shorter or longer and then it looks awful so you see now I'm going to keep it straight put here a pin and then do a stitching here so it's blocked nice and blocked okay I usually do the stitching with this zipper um, presser foot so I can go near here so now here I'm going to do a little stitching here it is it's like basting the zipper in place okay another point that is important it's here okay so I'm going to start to do uh, try to do my best to match also here do the same thing so um, straighten the zipper and do a little bit stitching here and also at the beginning a little bit stitching here as near to the end as possible because then you're going to open the zipper so you have the zipper um, basted in three places beginning here and the edge the, 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 the end so you're sure that your zipper is going to be straight so Baste it also in the beginning with the same method I did uh, at the end here also and then we're going to open the zipper now I open the zipper and I'm going to stitch the other side starting from here and finishing in the end so what is important here that um, when you uh, here it's where my uh, zipper finishes and then I'm going to take it on the other part and open it okay so here after the stitching the, the end you need to have at least two three centimeters because you in order to turn around the, the zipper if like me you have the excess you're going i show you later how to cut it off so we are going to do a stitching here and cut it off the, the excess but for the moment let's open the zipper until the end to take it to the other side you see here the hole where the stitching finishes here it is just take it out okay here it is now stitch the other side here when you're done uh, close the zipper again so you see 
little bit here, but it's pretty good. Expe especially when it finishes, it's okay. Now just need a little bit of uh, steam ironing. Okay, now you can uh, baste these two ends here with the sewing machine, just a little bit, a little bit of stitching here and here, these two ends to do on the seam. Regarding the excess of the zipper, you just stitch, uh, leave here three centimeters and just do the stitching here two or three times. It's important that this uh, um, zipper is in plastic. If it's in metal, you cannot do this. So just do the three stitchings back and forth. So back stitch. And just cut away the excess. Always leave two or th uh, three centimeters because you never know. Maybe you need to do some something on the dress change it may maybe um maybe it's, it, it becomes too uh to have maybe you change the size so you need to have this if you have to remove the zipper because if you don't have this you uh, it's going to be ruined you just when you start going down down it's it's just going to get out and be ruined okay so this is it regarding the uh, invisible zipper thank you for watching